What's up, everybody? Tonight's ice cream review is four random flavors from Favorite Day Gourmet. Those of you who are not immersed in the social media food universe like I am probably are unaware that Target has a store brand called Archer Farms. Oh. For those of you who are not immersed in the junk food blogosphere, you may not be aware that Target has recently changed over from Market Pantry, uh, formerly Archer Farms, or I don't know, they, they've, it's very confusing. I, I, they've had a couple store brands, but all you need to know now is that the new hotness in these streets is Favorite Day. So thus far, I've seen Favorite Day uh, trail mixes. They have a lot of delicious trail mixes. Most of them are just repackaged, rebranded, no new flavors, or a couple new flavors, but for the most part, no new flavors. Uh, however, I gotta say the branding is spot on, much better, way more appealing to the eye, especially when it comes to these ice cream pints. I heard there's a lot more stuff on the way, including cereal, very excited about that. But today we're talking ice cream and we're talking four randomly selected flavors. Now. Not only has Favorite Day dropped these ice cream pints, but you'll notice when you go to your Target, if they're up to date, you're going to see the, the bigger packaged ice cream, which is less premium than this. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, that's all been rebranded as Favorite Day. No new flavors there as far as I saw, but uh, some flavors that were limited like Mermaid and Rainbow Road have been, well, they don't call it Rainbow Road. I forget what they call it. Point is, all your favorites, if you have favorites, are back there. They also have rebranded and brought out some new flavors in the dairy-free line. Regrettably, they use almond milk. What are you gonna do? It's, it's, it's cheaper, um, not, not, not the best, obviously, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. You got lactose intolerance, you're a vegan, you gotta get what they give you. They've also released some, uh, or re-released, however you wanna, wanna phrase it, their, I guess their Halo Top equivalent, the light ice cream. Uh, and I mean light, 400 calories a pint or less. Um, there's a decent amount of protein in there too. They're also going to be rebranded. They have some novelties. But the stuff that I was interested in was this because they actually tried to release some new flavors, a lot of new flavors. I picked out four random ones. There's actually some that I wanted, including I think a peanut butter cookie dough that I could not find. So I just grabbed the four that sounded the most interesting, the four that I thought you guys would care about the most. And I'm going to review them today. Tell you guys what I think now. You have to understand too, this isn't exactly super premium ice cream. However, it is definitely more dense calorically than the previous pints they sold. Each one of these clocks in at roughly 900 calories or more. Um, so like I said, not super premium. This isn't Ben and Jerry's. It's getting closer to Ben and Jerry's, but I'd say it's a notch below Ben and Jerry's, just judging by the the weight of these 910, 920, 910, and of course, Midnight Mix, the one that was most appealing sounding is 1020. So I'm gonna start with this one. We gotta find out if it's worth your time, your money, and your calories, and the only way we can do that is by scooping it. Midnight Mix is vanilla ice cream with chocolate cookie crumb swirl, aka Oreo oatmeal cookie pieces, and chocolate candy and chocolate pretzels, chocolate candy being M&M's. Um, so pretzels, M&M's, oatmeal cookie pieces, and Oreo. Sounds like I'd be interested in this, which I am. Will it taste good? Let's find out. All right, initial observations. I should probably surprise very few of you. Okay, initial observation is, base ice cream, serviceable. I've already said it before like six times, I'm gonna say it one more time. This is not super premium ice cream. Do not expect it to be very dense. However, uh, it's not not super light either side, so maybe like a bluebell, bluebell equivalent. I think that's a, a pretty good comparison. There's a decent amount of mix-ins here. Chocolate pretzels are a little bit of a letdown, a tad stale tasting. 
Everything else is good. There is a good salty and sweet balance here, which I always appreciate. And I like that they use mini M&Ms and not the full size, because as you guys know, if you ever had them nice, can they freeze and they get super hard and they are not nice on your teeth. Flavor-wise, I mean, it's vanilla ice cream. And I think it's a good choice because you want to let the mix-ins in this one speak for the flavor. And there is a good amount of them. You know, for the price, it's like $3.50 a pint. I don't expect anything crazy, but oh, it spoke too soon. Look at that chocolate, chocolate cookie swirl. It's pretty good stuff. Some of the pretzels are crunchy, some are stale, you know. It's just a quality control issue. Everything else is great. M&Ms are fine, cookie swirls fine. Haven't got too much of the oatmeal cookie, but it's decent as well. You guys know I love my salty and sweet stuff. This is the one that jumped out at me. Not wowed by any means, but I think they're, they're taking steps in the right direction. This one has its moments. Not one I'll buy again, but still, I think it's a little bit better than I expected. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. Moving on to Brookie Dough. This, is brownie batter flavored ice cream with brownie pieces, chocolate chip cookie dough pieces, and chocolate flakes. Now you understand that description just whoosh, reeled me in like it probably reeled you in. So how does the brownie batter ice cream taste? I'm sure you're wondering. The answer is a little weird, a little strange. It doesn't quite taste like chocolate. It's um, it's really sweet, and you know it's not just a chocolate base. But if you gave me a scoop of this and asked me to identify it, I would not guess brownie batter. Not helping matters is that, as far as the mixings go, it's mostly chocolate flakes. And if you've been around long enough, you know my opinion on those things. Obviously with the base not being that great, I was hoping for some more cookie dough pieces and more brownie pieces, not getting that. But you know, it's, it's not the worst flavor I've ever had. But once again, much like Midnight Mix, I would never buy it again. Your mileage is gonna vary as usual, but this one, pretty mediocre. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Moving on to caramel brownie cake batter. We got cake batter flavored ice cream with brownie pieces, caramel swirl, and chocolatey flakes. Again, with the chocolatey flakes. Don't turn into Ben and Jerry's on me, Target. Come on. You can do better than that.
All right. Cake batter. Okay, cake batter base here is good. And now I'll kind of see what they did with the brownie batter base. I think they took this base and just added chocolate to it, which if you're a brownie or cake batter, you know they don't taste alike. So that makes sense. Just like with the last flavor, I've got a ton of chocolate flakes and very little brownie pieces, unfortunately. But the swirl, as you can see, let me dig this out. The swirl's pretty good. Different flavor, same story. Less fudge flakes, more of the other mixins involved, and we'd be getting a different number. But as it stands, another pretty mediocre experience. I'm giving this one a five out of 10. Last, but certainly not least, s'mores. Ever since 7-Eleven inexplicably decided to discontinue the toasted s'mores flavor. Yes, if you're hearing it first here, I'm sorry to report that they don't make s'mores anymore. Their best flavor, I mean, it's akin to Ben and Jerry's not making, well, not, uh, objectively, this isn't, isn't true, but they stopped making Cherry Garcia because even though I think Cherry Garcia sucks, a lot of people love it. It would make no sense business-wise, customer satisfaction wise, it's just, it's impossible to explain. Anyways, we should we should start writing them letters, by the way. I think we can, we can bring it back. But right now we're gonna talk about this s'mores. And this s'mores is toasted marshmallow flavored ice cream with caramelized sugar swirl, grand pieces and chocolatey chunks. Sounds passable. Obviously it doesn't sound as good as that delicious toasted marshmallow swirl, but I'm still going to try it and I hope it's better than these other three. Toasted marshmallow flavored ice cream is really good as are these graham pieces. The toasted marshmallow ice cream is delicious. Save some for later. The graham is also delicious. However, I don't understand that caramelized sugar swirl. I don't get it at all. It doesn't belong in a s'mores flavor. And while it's not gross or anything, it just throws the whole flavor off here. You really get a glimpse at how great this flavor could have been when you get spoonfuls without that that swirl in it because it's delicious tastes very s'moresy but all i can think of is what if they had just done a marshmallow swirl instead of this stupid sugar swirl Another thing I don't like about the swirl, and your mileage will vary here, is that it makes the sweet flavor even sweeter. This flavor didn't need any more sweetness. It has a marshmallow base, all right? You don't need another sweet element here. Pretty tasty still, but it could have been even better. Pretty big missed opportunity here, but essentially more of the same. Passable ice cream, but not something you need to go run out and buy. I'm giving this one a six out of 10. So there you have it, folks. Pretty much what we expected here out of a store brand 
ice cream. Definitely sense that there's been improvements made. Target seemed to work pretty hard at getting at least these, these pints better quality wise, quality control wise, bases are better. Everything is better, but that doesn't mean you get a free pass here. I have to judge everything, not based on effort, but on execution. And while I do appreciate that Target has, has paid more attention to their ice cream, you gotta do better than this. I will be going back and grabbing a few more flavors because like I said, even though it's not, not great, it's also not terrible. Then again, if you find yourself in Target, you go one freezer cabinet over and you got Ben and Jerry's. You got that Cheesecake Factory ice cream. You got all sorts of other stuff. So at Talenti, it's hard to justify this stuff Especially like you can either get s'mores or you can get Grand Fire Trail mix. You know, it's pretty easy. You can get one of these brand deals or you can get half baked or one of these flavors that's a proven commodity from Ben and Jerry's. You know, true, it's another couple of bucks, but you get what you pay for, especially when it comes to food. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.